Welcome to the offices of Jay Soccer Magazine in downtown Kobe. My name is Alan Gibson, but you knew that, right? And we're looking at the office today. We'll have a quick look at the magazine first. Issue one. Yasuhito Endo and Takashi Usami on the cover there. Still available. Issue two. Tadanari Lee of Southampton and Freddie Ljungberg, not of Espulse. There you go. Available still. And issue three with Miyamoto Sunyasu on the cover and some great pictures from the FIFA Club World Cup. Uh, Naoki Matsuda competition won by hmm, Singaporean and a Canadian. This magazine gets around. Quick look at the 2011 in review. Cereso Osaka, Yokohama Flugels, Urawa Reds, Hiroshi Ibusuki, and much, 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 much more, including... The Legends of Johor Bahru, 1997, some of my exclusive pictures. All three issues available to now for you, 1,000 yen, PDF. All three of them will be sent to you immediately for 1,000 yen. Or I'm going to give you postage too, 1,000 yen by post plus shipping. In Japan, only 200 yen, so that's 1,200 yen, including shipping in Japan and 1800 yen all over the world for all three magazines. Is that a bargain or what? It's a bargain, it's a bargain. As I said, my name is Alan Gibson and I'm showing you the J Soccer Magazine office today. And we'll start with, well, we'll start with my shirt. Freddy Lundberg, not very much worn. S Pulse shirt there. It's very nice indeed. And we have a bunch of shirts for you to look at. Um, there you go, that's the office. But first, we'll start on the bottom row. The history of Japan in shirts, pre-1990s, blue, simple, and the JFA logo with the three crows. In 1991, it switched, same logo, different shirt. This was the time when they switched from Puma, Adidas, and Asics alternated every year. They had it over three years. They switched and then they went back. This was the 1992 three shirt, uh, match worn by Kazu. Uh, this is the Doha Tragedy shirt, yes, unfortunately. Uh, and then we have to 1996 to 98, uh, Adidas 97, Puma 96, and in the World Cup 1998 it was ASICS, Japan, the official uniform of the Japan national team. This is a Nakata match worn shirt from a friendly game. Then, as far as I remember, please correct me if I'm wrong, these are the Asian Championships 2000, Miyamoto, Suniyasu, match-worn away shirt and match-worn home shirt. And of course, signed. Yes. Then, pre-2002 World Cup, Japan versus Norway, match-worn, Miyamoto, Suniyasu, signed and match-worn shirt. 2002 World Cup itself, long-sleeved, authentic, signed number 17 for Miyamoto. Moving towards 2005-2006, this is a Shinji Ono match-worn long sleeve shirt. Unbelievably thin material. Fantastic stuff. And that was up to the 2006 World Cup, which also included this one for the away. It wasn't white. It was a beige thing. This is a match-worn signed by Yoshito Okubo. After that, we moved on to this model. This one is 74, Bando Ryuji. There you go, signed two, match one against India, and I think he scored two goals. The reason, number 74, well, he, number 11 was already taken, and he wanted number 11, so 7 plus 4 equals 11. Did you know that? Yes, there you go. Not a lot of people knew that. Up until last year, we had this one, where suddenly the badge turned white. Did you notice that? The badge became a white one. And then, this year... Da -da 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 the future of Japan, perhaps, Mia Ichiryo. And that's this year's shirt. We should have a quick look at the front for you too, just in case you haven't seen it. Now there's a big, big hole in the wall there. There you go. Nice and white still, as you can say, with the Hiromaru. Adidas, climber cool, superb thin material. And now we have for the Olympics in London, London 2012 Olympics, a red shirt without as you may notice, the JFA. Adidas for motion. Let's have a quick look at what else we have here today. I decided to put numbers on the wall today. Numbers. Joe Shoji, number 25 for Real Valladolid. A pioneer. 
Nakamura Shunsuke, match worn long sleeved away shirt for Regina, and a signed pennant up there too. Nakata Hidetoshi, Perugia, what a star he was. Perugia, pre Parma, Bolton, Roma, etc. days. And, well, quite up to date, I suppose, but not for long, perhaps. This guy will be wearing red very soon, we believe. Shinji Kagawa, home and away. So shirts from Borussia Dortmund. The winners of the Bundesliga. We have more winners coming later, but Inamoto was not quite a winner. Two games for Arsenal, both in the League Cup, I believe. But this was one of his shirts, not very much worn. Red Bull Salzburg, it's that man Miyamoto Sunayasu again, a signed match-worn Red Bull Salzburg shirt there for you. We'll skip that shirt and come back to it. Yasuda Michihiro, this is indeed a match-worn, there you go, ACL Champions League shirt before Michi moved off to Vitesse Arnhem. And we have a Casio Reso in honor of last year's Champions of the J League. Number 25. And in honor of not Japan, well, hello, Super Mario. Congratulations on winning the league, Manchester City. You got a pride of place sneaking into the Japan section of the office. And just to make sure we know who won the league, on the door. Manchester City, signed squad shirt. There you go, but that's enough non-Japanese football. There is indeed the new shirt there, the long sleeve authentic version. A couple of other shirts lying around. We have a Yomiuri Verdi Kawasaki Tokyo 1969, whatever they want to call themselves this year, shirt from the late 90s, I believe. Jeff United, that is ooh, way back, way back, very old. Asics shirt, as worn by Joe Shoji. And an old Casio Race Holloway shirt. A very old rest in peace. They decided to go away from us in 1999. A.S. Flugels, that's right, that's the Yokohama Flugel shirt. And currently J2 boys and ex-team of Hyakukyuji on Senti, Mike Havana, 194cm, Mike Havana, Von Ferre, Kofu. What else do we have in the office? Well, there's a sneaky little uh, extra bonus shirt on the uh, hanger there. San Freche Hiroshima, 2011, salmon pink away shirt. A couple of uh, J Soccer Magazine issues on the wall, signed by Endo, Miyamoto, and Freddy Jungberg. Some more signed goods, Miyamoto. Naoki Yamada, Kitazawa, Ramos, legends of the J League. And England, Japan, okay, you, you know, sneaky there. England against Japan, City of Manchester, one of those half and half scarves that I could not resist. Belmari Hiratsuka, now known as Shonan Belmari, of course. And there's a sneaky signed picture of Endo. I say sneaky because it's on the Kazu shelf. Yes, Kyoto Purple Sanga and Vissel Kobe signed shirts. Uh, Kazu, one of my original pictures, as featured in J Soccer Magazine issue 3 there, of course. And way, that's me, way back in 1993 when we first met Kazu. Kiyotake, the man of the moment, a man who's off to Germany within a few weeks. Well, after the Olympics, anyway. That's uh, the Sereso shelf there. A couple of uh, signed boots. Well, shall we say that's uh, Michi Yasuda, Michihiro's boots. Uh, sneaking in because I can't really see a Japanese connection, but David Beckham's signed boots. Hey, always worth it, isn't it? Vissel Kobe, Morioka program signed there. And uh, some more signed boots, signed pictures, but you don't need to see all this, do you? That's that sneaking in the back there. It's Barry Valder's book, Watching Football in Japan. If you don't have it, get it now. Barry, if you see this, feel free to add a link to the bottom of this. And, well, plenty of reference books. Plenty of reference books to make sure I get everything right for you. Uh, da -da 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 -da. And... This is issue three, that's what's left, about 150. Issue three, issue two, less than 50, and issue one, 35 or so. Issue one, two, and three are still available. Please, please buy them, support us. J Soccer Magazine needs your help. Issue four is coming June the 15th. Watch out for more details on what will be in issue four very soon. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Alan Gibson of J Soccer Magazine in Kobe.